Okay. I'm going to show you how to thread a Kedma packstrap loom. Okay. And we take the threads, we choose our threads, and we measure them. We take about a meter and a half, two meters. Okay. And we cut the threads that we need. We need 15 threads about that length. Okay. It's quicker to take a batch of them and cut them at the same time. I have 15 threads prepared already. Okay. Now, I need to anchor this in a place that is not going to move for me. I've chosen this spot here. It could also be the foot of a table, a doorknob, any place in your house that's convenient. Okay? I'm going to put my extra here, and I'm going to tie it up on the side. And I'm going to tie it together, tie it onto this anchor. Okay? Now, on a backstrap loom, I am part of the loom. It's not like a frame loom that you might recognize. In this loom, I'm part of the loom. Okay? Now I'm going to take my threads, my warp threads, and I'm going to thread them in my loom. This is the back strap. Now you see that there's holes and there's slots. I'm going to put, for my pattern, I'm going to put all of the blacks in the holes. Okay? And all of my other colors are going to be in the slots. You can, of course, just thre thread random colors and you'll get a beautiful pattern like that too. Um, but this is what I'm going to do for this, so you'll just see what kind of effects that we can get. Okay, I'm going to thread up the whole thing. Okay, this goes pretty fast, so we can keep it running all the way through. slots are there? One, two, three, four, five. So there's eight holes and seven slots. Doesn't really make that much of a difference. Okay. Now in the slots, I'm going to flip the colors back and forth. I'm going to do one purple and one green. But as I said again, this is not necessary for your first project. Um, you can also use a very thick wool. Um, anything that will thread through. Um, I'm just going to do that alternately. Is wider wool that can fit through, fit through the holes and slots is what you can use. So I like to use a thin cotton, but you can use anything that you'd like, really, and make a thicker project. These looms, by the way, also come in larger sizes, so you can make bigger projects. But this is the base um, instructions for this loom. Okay, we're just going to double up on green here. Okay, great. Okay, here's the threaded loom. Like a, like a. And down, okay? This is how the loom goes. It goes up one row and down one row. Now I'm going to take this and I need tension. This is called a backstrap loom. Okay, so I've tied a belt, a belt around my waist. Okay. Now I'm going to make the tension. I'm tying the warp threads onto my belt, and I'm going to tie that. And now I've made tension on the warp threads. Okay, now look how this loom works. I'm going to take a piece of thread to use for my weft string. Now we said when we lift the loom, all the holes, all the strings that are threaded through the slots lift up. Okay, now when I lower the, the loom downwards, all the threads that were in the slots lift up. Okay, so this is one row, and this is the second row. This is one row, goes up, threads go up. You can see all the blacks are lifting. It's easier to see when you have blacks in one hole, in, in all of the holes. You can see it clearer. And when I lower it, all the colored threads are rising. Okay, so I'm going to lift my first row, putting my hand in. Okay, again. 
I'm going to lift, put my hand in, beat down. I'm going to take the weft thread in my hand and place it in the first row. It does not need a knot. Now my next row, I'm making the slots go up, the colored threads. So I'm putting my hand in here. I'm beating down. I like to use my pinky thread as a beater. Okay, it's a nice straight line. Then I take the thread in my hand and then I pass it through. And I make the edge nice and even like that. Now I'm going to lift up for my black thread, my black row, putting my hand in, beating down, taking the thread, and passing it through. Something I like to do at the beginning is I like to have somebody give a hand, somebody to help lift and lower the threads until you can do it by yourself. It sometimes takes a little bit of time. Now, my thread is right here, so I'm going to put in my hand opposite. Now that my hand is inside, I can let go of the loom. There's no longer a need to hold it. I pull, I take the thread in my hand, and I pass it through. Now I'm going to beat it down, and again, a black row. And there you go. Now I put on extra threads at the end. You saw that I made it nice and long because I wanted to make a belt out of this. Okay, I'm beating down. So I can always have my spare threads, and when I reach the top, I can release more. One more thing I wanted to show you is when I'm woven, when I've woven all the way up to here, it's going to be a little hard for me to work. So what I'm going to do is I release this knot here and I bring it up here and I tie it up here on the woven band that I've already made and then I come closer and then I bring my tension to here and then all this is sitting on the bottom. Okay? So enjoy people. I'm always here for calls. <laughs> See you.